Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Healing Good Precure Episode 1, and I'm gonna start this reaction in 1 0 go. Just so y'all know, this is the first time I've ever reacted to a Precure um, episode before, and since this is. Since this is new, I'm gonna react to it. No, no, go. Hmm. Sweet name! I already like the vibes of positivity that the main protagonist has given me. Every little thing, it's adorable. Aww, I like how she's thankful to her parents. It's really, really sweet. Dang. I like that they're already giving us characterization that Nabucco. She's definitely got an adventure like vibe to her. Oh. Aww. All right, I like that. It's confidence. Oh, the one, the blue one looks like, kind of like a Pokemon. I'm trying to remember which one, but its name slips me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So there's gonna be three of them. Hmm. Since we're, we've been shown Nakota, Nadoka prominently, I'm assuming she's gonna be one of those three. I'm assuming the peak one is going to be teaming up with no Nanoka. Since the way she stepped in in front when the other two didn't shows you that she also has a headstrong attitude. At least the visual cue seems to be giving me uh, off those vibes. I'm actually digging the song so far in the opening. Healing a big yellow. Oh, okay, so those are the other two. Okay! <laughs> you know, I need a good healing anime from time to time. Yeah! I actually like that. You get to actually. At least the opening implies that we're gonna see them. Our main characters in on action situations, so it'll actually be nice to see some characterization too. When they're on a non combat setting. And yo, the opening looks like it's gonna be champ packed with action. Okay! Oh, action scenes look cool. Oh. Yeah, bad guy definitely looks like he's filled with edge! Can't wait to see that dude's backstory. <laughs> huh. <laughs> hand in hand. 
pretty good together, cure grace. Hmm. Yeah. That's some pretty good English. <laughs> yeah, English is not that bad. And I think it's pretty darn good. And you could chalk it up that maybe there could be tourists that or maybe from a nation that has English as like a side language, but not the main one, so you can't excuse the the uh, stra the slightly strained English to that. <laughs> oh, okay. Sweet. I like it. Showing you that she has a palantric side for her too. Towards her too. A selfless side. I don't think that's possible. I mean, there's got to be some doctors that have a small degree of margin of error, even the best ones. Ah, Definitely going to be the chick with the pigtails. Oh. Kind of like how they... Raise the stakes in like this cute, adorable sequence without making it feel like pointless exposition at the same time. Usually hard to do for animes, but they did it pretty well so far, the writers. Whoa! People wouldn't believe that. No. <laughs> no. Sure, if Princess Latte looks like a dog that was just dyed in like slightly pink or pink purple hair dye, so she'd be able to get away with a lot. And the other one looks kind of like a rare cat breed. Are they going to change your names? Ah. Oh. Hmm. 
does seem like a fun place to sunbathe. Yeah, that water looks pretty cool, and I like the flowers. Pretty. Oh my. Well, there's our Joseph Edge. And the music. <laughs> it's pretty epic. Oh, no. Yeah, just haul ass and get the fuck out of it. Oh. Oh. I just wonder what those three little ones can do, though. Okay, hopefully they just come in contact with one of the girls soon, because... Yeesh! Yeah, I was like trying to see an ant, a singular ant, try to take a, a spider on. It ain't gonna freaking happen. At least not, not with the way things are currently constructed. Yeah, she ain't wrong. Wait, Adonis, could it be the... Yo, she's gutsy! <laughs> Dang! So that's the dog the kid was referring to. Oh yeah, let's hope Noka shows up quickly. Yo. Yes, that's a girl. <laughs> hey, I don't think they could be picky right now. So that explains why she can she mentions about running free then she didn't have a good amount of health when she was younger. That puts it all into perspective why she always tries to pressure herself likely to enjoy those moments in life. It actually makes me love her character even more. Oh! 
It's a nice save. Yep, she's done for I realized it. Oh Yes. Oh, and I don't know look a cute name. Oh, whoa! Oh my! Oh, <laughs> we're about to get some action. Yes, I'm pumped up. Oh man, I forget. I oh, am, man, man, man. I'm hyped to see a glorious Macho Girl transformation sequence. I always love seeing them. If y'all have some, took them on my channel, I always love a. I always love me a good macho girl transformation sequence. Hmm. Okay, I like the fluidity so far. Oh my. Oh, okay. Going all out. Tully, jeez. <laughs> this is... Ah, that is finally, finally animated. <laughs> and I like the little addition of the flower petals too. Yo. <laughs> it makes for some nice visual flair. Hmm. Nice. Oh, so going about the words he said, because other than previous Macho Girls, they might have been in combat and they might have passed away or died or something? Hmm. It opens up a lot of questions now. Wait! Yo, it's a connective plan, that's cool! <laughs> Oh my. Honestly, I can't blame for celebrating. It's the first time she's using those abilities, so. I think most of us would probably in celebratory mode, too. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that is a nice flip right there. <laughs> the cocoa found it. Yo. Yeah, you can now tell the actresses are hella into it. I love that though. So see how oh Yo, I think I got fucked. <laughs> I got owned. Hmm, nice English. Healing goodbye. Hmm. 
I actually like that. I respect the the high quality English speaking actually. Some enemies botch it up when it comes to like English speaking. <laughs> oh, so it's, I guess it's a time limit to uh, using the abilities then. I like that Robertine's gonna be there to humble Nodoko in case she gets too cocky. I like that. It's gonna probably make for some fun character interactions and dynamic. She's gonna have to take care of Princess Lanti in her house. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> she really is not <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I mean, I guess it's the stress. It's gotta be the stress and all the dynamics of the situation. Why she didn't question it because she was in danger. When you're in danger, you're not going to think about the smallest shit until you're out of the distressing, dangerous situation. Okay, let's see if G dance, ED. I'd say as CG goes, it ain't bad, but I have seen better, um, better dancing CG anime. Specifically this, specifically this season, but it ain't terrible. I think the dance is nice itself. And from far away, the CG looks nice. It's just when it gets really, really close up, it looks a bit plasticky. But hell, this AD is still better than just a still shot montage. And I do like the song of the AD itself. And there are some moments like that where the CG actually looks really, really good. It just depends. <laughs> Okay. One of the few animes where I actually like the opening and ED themes. Both of them. Because sometimes in animes I either like the opening or just the ED. But usually not. Both. Okay. All right, preview time. All right, so she's gonna make a new friend. Cool, cool. Huh. All right, I guess that's it for now. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, now that's it. Okay, I actually enjoyed this episode. If I were to give it a rating of a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being abysmal, 10 being exceptional, 5 being average, I thought this was a solid, solid uh, 7.5 out of 10 episode. I thought it was two tiers and a half above average. Because for one, I already have an extremely likable character like Naroka. I thought she was nice, she's extremely likable, how she helps the the old man and then the old lady carry things and how she selflessly went out to help protect Princess Lotte without giving regards to her own well-being. I thought that was actually more, I thought those sequences were more badass than the fight sequences themselves because you see nice snippets of Naroka's personality. I always love moments like that when a character having no powers does dangerous, 
extremely dangerous things. I think that in itself is epic. Not to say the fight scenes were not epic. I thought they were pretty cool, actually. So, gotta give it props to that. And then aside from that, I thought, like, Robin Ian and the two other mascot creatures and Lotte they were adorable. I love seeing them, especially when they were carrying little Lotte. <laughs> that was so cute. So that put a smile to my face. So, all in all, I like the characters so far. And from a story standpoint, I thought I was engaging. It gave us a lot of characterization on our main character for the majority of it. So, and it did a tough task of not only gave us a characterization on Nodoka, it did a good job on showing us her parents quickly. It did a great job of showing you why she always tries to exert herself because in the past she wasn't really extremely healthy. So I like that too. So, that's another thing that I really liked about this episode. I thought it made Nadoka a bit more layered. And then, additionally, aside from all that, I gotta say, I really, really like, like, the bits of comedy, like, when she just barely realized that they're talking creatures right after the action sequences, which makes sense, because in a situation that's dangerous, you're not gonna think about those small.